What is good, everybody? It is your boy, Pat the Designer, back at it again. How are y'all feeling today? The Chicago Bears pulled off a huge win yesterday. So the question is now, how can they still make the playoffs? I'm going to break it down right after this. Can, uh, can somebody cue the intro? Thanks. If this is your first time seeing one of our videos, please like the video. Please subscribe to the page, especially if you're a Chicago sports fan, because we talk Chicago sports weekly and we want to be sure that you don't miss any of it. So click that bell. So the Chicago Bears pull out a pretty big win yesterday in Detroit. Um, Mitchell Trubisky honestly looks like the quarterback that we thought we drafted number two in the second half, in the second half. But I'm going to give credit where credit is due. He looked very well. He looked composed. He looked like he was out there making some very good plays, making some very good throws, doing the things he needed to do to get his team a victory. And he got them that victory. The Chicago Bears pulled it out. There's still hope for them to make the playoffs a 3% chance after after the win yesterday but a lot of dominoes need to fall in the Bears favor and I am gonna break down basically what needs to happen for the Bears to get into the playoffs and keep all of our hopes and dreams alive comment down below too and let me know if you think the Bears will make the playoffs or if they should just give up on this season altogether at this point. So pretty much now, there's no chance that the Bears can win the division. There, there's zero chance of that. But there's still hope for a wild card spot. And I know a lot of people are saying, there's so much that we have to do just to get in. You're right. We're actually looking at five other teams that are still in this wild card race, and it is getting reckless here for the second spot. That first team we got to look at is the Vikings, somebody who's in our own backyard. Right now, they're sitting at eight and three. They are a tough team. Kirk Cousins seems to be playing out of his mind. Their next five games, they've got the Seahawks, the Lions, the Chargers, the Packers, and then they finish the season versus the Bears. Right now, the Bears hold the tiebreaker, so we essentially need them to go two and five over the next five games, um, especially losing, of course, to us in Chicago, and then a loss to the Packers and the Seahawks is also something that the Bears really really need uh, for things to go their way. Now, them losing those games is so important because the Bears right now hold the tiebreaker versus Minnesota. So if the Bears are able to win out, they own that tiebreaker. That would put both teams at 10 and 6, essentially giving Bears second place in the division and a 10-win record. So it kind of puts you above some of the other teams. Now, when it comes to the Rams, they're right now sitting at 6 and 5. Jared Goff's basically just Jared Goff. They're having a lot of the same issues that the Bears are having. Over their next five games, they've got the Cardinals, Seahawks, Cowboys, Niners, and the Cardinals again. The teams that we need the Rams to lose to there, Seahawks, Cowboys, and Cardinals, um, essentially knocking them completely out of the race. They would finish with a 2-5 and five record over their last five games. It would end their record at 8-8. Eight and eight. They wouldn't even be a concern anymore. Now, the next team is the Eagles. They're sitting at 5-6 and six right now. Honestly... They could go 4-1 and one over their next five in their last five games, and the Bears would still be okay as long as they lose one game. One game. So uh, they've got one very important game, and that is the week that they play the Cowboys. We need the Cowboys essentially to give them that one loss that basically puts them out. They won't have won enough games to still be a threat in the division because they, at that point, you're finishing the season with 9-7. and seven. Now the Bears not only have the record, but they also have more victories versus the NFC. And here we come to the Cowboys, America's team, Mr. Dak Prescott himself. Now, one of these things has already happened. So with yesterday's loss to the Buffalo Bills, the rock is already in motion. Now you've got Dak Prescott coming to Chicago in December when it has not been warm lately. And we know that the Cowboys in Chicago usually don't play their best football. So this is a game that the Bears could come away with. So they've already lost to Buffalo. Um, if the Bears can give them one more loss this coming Thursday on the lakefront, it will honestly pretty much end the Cowboys season. They can win out after that as long as the Bears continue uh, winning 
they could pretty much win out after that and it really wouldn't matter and then the last team who's honestly a team i'm not too worried about making it um just because we've seen that that traction kind of slip away from them but it is the panthers um they're five and six right now they've got a pretty easy next couple of weeks they got the redskins and the falcons um both very winnable for them but they finish the season versus the seahawks versus the colts and versus the saints all three of those you would essentially like to see them basically just lose because you're losing the two NFC teams and it really just puts you out of the race. That would finish them with at seven and nine if they're able to, if they come away with losses in all three of those games. So that would really clear the path for what the Bears need to do. Now understand, all of this is based off of the Bears have to win out. They have to finish the season 10 and 6. They cannot lose another game or it's all over. So this is now on Chicago. They kind of hold their own destiny, but not really. The team that you have to worry about most is the Vikings because they have been on that tear. They have had that, that somewhat little bit of dominance this season. And so you need a lot of teams to come out and play well versus them. And the game that scares me the most is kind of that late in the season Packers game because, listen, if the Packers got the division clinched up, are they going to risk Aaron Rodgers are they going to put their top guys out there versus these guys for the last couple of weeks or are they going to try and get them some rest get those guys healed up completely and basically just concede the game and of course you know Green Bay would just love to stick it to us that way let me know in the comments below if you think there's any chance that these scenarios play themselves out or if you think that the Bears playoff hopes were gone long ago. I am going to get up out of here. It is your boy Pat the Designer back at it again. Make sure that you like the video. Make sure that you subscribe to the page. And make sure that you please, please, please stay safe out there, y'all. I'm going to get up out of here. Peace.